What is up guys, Ace here, and today I'm here with the Blood of the Dead map tutorial because I didn't actually make one for this until now because I just thought, you know, it's a remastered map so it shouldn't be that bad. But there are quite a few rooms that are different in this game and some added rooms. So anyway, just getting right into it, this is the spawn room. This is where you're going to spawn every game. And uh, you have a wall by over here. You're going to just go up here. You're going to have a door right here that you're going to go through. That's the only door you can go through. You just have your barricades and uh just just an area nice nice little area you go up here and this is kind of a big open area where you have some choices you need to make for which doors you want to go through you can either go through the right or you can go over here to the left left side right here this is going to be closed until you turn on the power and the quickest way to get to power is to go through this door right here so if you go down here you'll have your perk machine over here i have a quick revive right there if you go over here on the left you have power right here, so you can turn that on whenever you want to. This is uh, some special more areas. You have a gun right there, and you have this sort of boiler room or powerhouse, as it's called, and then a mystery box location over here. So not too much going on over here besides that. You have this again. This is going to be closed. If you go up here, this is going to lead to the other side you could have gone through from the this big uh, spawn area over here. Uh, if you go... If you go down here, you can you can go up the uh, catwalk right now, but uh, I'll just show you guys what this place is. If you open this up, you're, you're going to see another box location over here. And over here on this side, this is going to be one of the dog locations where you can go ahead and feed the dogs. And this will get you the Hell's Retriever. Uh, you have a wall weapon over here. This is going to be the place where you can pick up your Magma Gat whenever or if you ever want to build that Magma Gat. Uh, there's probably a bunch of tutorials on that. And there's a trap over there. This just kind of leads all the way back up to where we were, where power was, and where Quick Revive was right here. This is that big tunnel area. So if we go up here again, we'll go up this catwalk now, which is kind of your main area. You want to be careful when you open this up for the first time because there's going to be a lot of zombies that just come down here like they are right now. You can kill them. They're pretty easy. Or, well, they're easy right now because this is easy mode. But they're, they're probably going to stack up for quite a bit when you're doing it for the first time. And uh, you're, you're going to want some decent weapons, but there's going to be zombies like kind of trying to kill you from the sides and everything. They only do like 10 damage. You have Brutus over here. There's going to be dogs that spawn in. They're going to try to kill you while you're trying to cross this. You just want to kill all of them. There's going to be like a good amount of zombies. So you want to have like be semi prepared for this. It's not too, too difficult, but it is like a little bit of a challenge. So you're just going to have your zombies over here. If you go straight, it's really linear. It's really more of the same thing. You go up straight. And uh, you have an option of going left, or you can go right. This right door is going to be open, and this is the original spawn for Mob of the Dead. So I'm going to go over here first, and then tell you guys where that is first. So you can keep going straight. Not too much going on over here. Uh, again, this is kind of the same thing. You have a uh, shotgun right here. It's, it's really like the original Mob of the Dead. You come over here, and a lot of this map layout is almost the same as the original Mob of the Dead. So if you go up here... You have this area, the Broadway Street and everything. You have another dog location right here where you can fill up the dog for the Hell's Retriever. You go over here, and then you have this other side right here. So uh, I'm going to go over here and show you guys what this is. This isn't... Uh, you can use the shield charge to open this up, and I'm sure there's other tutorials showing you how to get the shield charge, but there's that. You go over here on this right side of the stairs we just took, and this is going to be your warden's office. Now, you can't open this until you get power, which is down there. I'll, uh, bleh. I'll go into that in just a second, but once you get power open, you can open this up with the warden's key and everything. And then there's actually a new area over here. So let's actually go ahead and turn on power, or I'll show you guys where power is first, so that you can actually you know, relate yourself to this part. So if we go down the stairs and we, we go down here, this is going to be the same tunnels like there were in Mob of the Dead. You keep going here, you want to take this path that I'm taking right now, instead of going straight, you're going to take a left on this turn, and then you're going to go down these tunnels, and then you're going to be in the Citadel tunnels, and you just want to keep going down, keep going down, keep going down, and uh, it's, it's more the same uh, every time, it's like Mob of the Dead, you go down, and then once you get down here, you have another wall weapon right there, you have some zombies right now, and then you're going to get to the Citadel Tunnels. There's not much going on over here. There might be some shield parts. But it just tells you powers over here. You can go up there. I'll show you guys what the, where that leads to in a second. But you have this area. You have a shield part usually over here. And then if you take a right from here, you can go ahead and turn on power. That switch right there. And that will usually spawn in a Brutus. So you want to be careful when you're turning on power. But you have the rest of this area. Not too, too, um, like, very, very 
Uh, it's not too, too important, but you can go over here to the docks from this area. But I'll go into the docks in a second when I once I get up to the lift, and then we can go to the docks from there, and then I can relate all of that, because we haven't gotten to that point upstairs over here. So let's go back up there and show you guys what the rest of this area looks like. So if you go up the Citadel Tunnels again, we're instead of going to the left where we... So, so we come in here, we're going to go over here and go go around here again instead of taking a left we, we can go straight and this is uh this is where you're gonna pick up the hell's retriever but it's it's kind of a little bit of a different process you don't you can't just like go in here you have to kind of teleport in there but there's more tutorials on that and if you go over here you just have the showers again this really uh, this goes to the showers and it, it's nice it's it's beautiful it's it's very nice but um let's go back up because i'll really you guys to the showers again from a different area from like the actual mob of the dead like prison area so that it's a little easier to understand again so if we go back up here you have the warden's office over here and then you have the stairs that we came from initially over here so we can go to the warden's office right now and um uh, tell you guys what the new areas for the warden's office are so that it makes it makes sense again so it's more the same thing the box location initially and then your perk machine over here and then if you open up this area there will be another dog over here. This is going to be the last dog that there is. There's only three dogs again this game, and uh, you can fill up your dogs over here. You have this uh, bigger sort of area over here with the warden's office. Now you can go upstairs, which doesn't le lead to much. There's like an Easter egg step related to this wall. You have the Titan you can buy over here, but not too much going on over here. If we go, uh, again, this is where we came from. If we go to the right, this, this spot's kind of important because... Um, this is the this is the spot that you can uh, go to to collect your Hell's Retriever. So if you hold square, and then uh, go, you, if you have already all your dogs done, then you can go ahead and go uh, travel and get your Hell's Retriever on the process. But there again, there's tutorials on that all over YouTube. So I'm not going to go too much into that. But again, we're back here to the dog. Again, you see the dog coming out every time you kill a zombie. It'll get sucked up into the dog, and then you can go ahead and fill up your Hell's Retriever. So, I'm going to just go ahead and grab a gun so that I don't die. But, we have the uh, Citadel Tunnels again. And this is, these are the stairs that we came from for the first time. So, if we go up here again, we can go that way. Or we can go this way. I'm going to go this way first. And uh, tell you guys, again, this is the dog. And this is kind of where we came from, the original spawn of Mob of the Dead. And uh, if we go up here, we go up to the top floor. That's the, ski the lift over here. We have the Broadway, you have like where Electric Cherry sort of used to be, and then you have your um, buildable table right here. If we keep, go keep going, we have we can kind of jump off, we can go to the same spot where we uh, kind of just were, and then you have your lift over here. So we'll go to the lift again in a second, but uh, I'm just going to go over here to the left all the way. And this is going to be where the cafeteria is. You can kind of just run around over here. There's uh, more that goes up to the top part where Pack-a-Punch is. If we jump down, this is the other side from the spawn, where we came from spawn. We went to the original spawn area. This is pretty much the left side of that area. And, you know, you, you have your um, per, uh, your power-ups over there. This is the entrance. To, uh, again, we jump down from here. This is the cafeteria that I was talking about. Uh, again, it's the same cafeteria from the last game. You have another spot where you can kind of teleport again to new industries. And then you go back over here and you have the, caf uh, the cafeteria entrance again. So again, we jump down from there. If we go over here, we can go to the showers where we just were from the Citadel Tunnels. This goes to the shower, uh, the, the tunnels again. This leads to another one of these to uh, portals to the Warden's House. And it's all nice. So uh, you have to, for the Hell's Retriever, you have to do the Warden's House one because that's the path it, you have to take. This is a power-up you can collect for the shield. But yeah, you go into the cafeteria, and again, that's that's that area. So if we go up on these stairs, these go to the uh, place we just were with the Warden's office. So again, it just kind of connects over here if you go up here. And uh, since we went through that big area, or like this thing, and then we went up, and then the ski lift is over there, you have the showers area and the cafeteria area over here, and then spawn is over there when you can come in through spawn from there. So, what we're going to do now is we're going to go over to the upstairs portion, 
and we can access that from the uh, cafeteria. So if we go to the upstairs portion, let's go up these stairs. You have uh, this right area, which also leads to that place we were just at, the top of this. If we go down, there's the cafeteria. And then if you have, if you go through here, and then you keep just kind of, you keep going through it, you'll go ahead and find the um, the same sort of thing from Mob of the Dead. There, there's no dog on this side anymore. It was from that new area that was made. And um, if we go, if we keep going up here, we have a perk over here. You keep going up. Pack a punch is over here. There's no plane anymore. You're gonna hit that with a shield charge. There's gonna be a Brutus that spawns in, so you want to be careful. But pack a punch is gonna be right here when you do go ahead and activate it for the first time. So if we go down, again, this is the top part of the area. We came from this side. Let's go to this side. This is kind of where you're gonna pick up your golden spork, or uh, it's, it's this general general area. If we go through here and then go back, this is where we came from. And then we can either go down to the cafeteria or we can go to uh, the top part of the cafeteria with like the railings and everything. So let's go down to the cafeteria. And then now let's go ahead and again, that spawn. If we go up here, let's go to the ski or, or the, the docks area. And that's going to be through this sort of like big middle uh, tunnel sort of thing. It's not really a tunnel, but it's just kind of like the, your middle passageway. And then the top part is going to be where the lift is. So if we go through here, we can use the gondola. God, I, I can't believe I forgot it was called the gondola. But anyway, you go down here, and then we go to the docks. The docks are a little bit different this time around. They're not the exact same thing, but they're relatively, like, they're, they're it's pretty close to what it was originally. But again, you don't have your afterlife or anything in this game. And, uh, yeah, so we can go ahead, go down to the, uh, the docks. You can either go over here to the right, or you can go over here or down there, or you can go down these stairs. So let's go to the right real quick. This is kind of where we got power from. This is this is a perk machine, but if we go, we continue down here. This is where we got power. Again, if you remember, the power was on that side. I'll just show you guys again. Power was right here, and um, with this, uh, we we came from the Citadel tunnels through here. But this is the other side, the left side, that goes over here to the docks, and then if we go up here, we're back to where the gondola first came. So if we go down here, we can jump down there. It's pretty much the same thing. But if we go down here, let's go to the right side first because this is also sort of where power was. We have a buildable table over here. Again, power was over there to the right side, but we're back to like the building 64. If we go over here to this side, we can buy our Tommy gun that's always been in this game. And then you have your uh, this area that was openable before. And uh, you have this area towards the actual docks that uh, you can have a box spawn and then there's just kind of an area over here. But that's that's pretty much it for this map. It's really similar to what uh, the original Mob of the Dead was, but there are some different nuances that like you have to learn because there are some more rooms and some more little, t little areas, but generally it's almost the same thing and you shouldn't have too much of a problem because the spawn is most of like the big new areas and then you have your warden's office and everything but if you know the original map you shouldn't have a too big of a problem learning this one it's not too too bad and yeah that pretty much is it for this map tutorial hopefully you guys did and find this helpful and um yeah that's gonna be it hopefully you guys did enjoy don't just do it ace it and we're back to mob of the dead i'll see you guys in the next video